Tinder is such a grind. And if you feel like the algorithm is stacked against you, you're not wrong. But if you do want to get the most out of it, you should know how it actually works. And we're going to go over that shadow bands, whether or not new counts get boosted or not, and a lot more. Now, obviously your pictures do the heavy lifting, but let's say they're actually decent and you want to see what else you can do to get an edge. Well, Tinder has directly said some things that matter that I bet a lot of guys miss. And the first is your recent activity. They said in a statement about their algorithm that the most important factor is using the app. We prioritize potential matches who are active and active at the same time. Now, of course, they say that when they benefit from more people using the app more often, but it does actually make sense because a lot of women do use the app for attention. That's just the way it is. They're not actually interested in meeting anybody. So it would be good, good business for them to prioritize accounts with high activity because it reflects a higher intent that they're actually interested in meeting somebody. Now, the second factor is about swiping left or right and how it is important to do both. I know a lot of guys who will just blindly power swipe and you don't want to do that. And I'll dig deeper into why in a second, but I want to show the rest of this statement where they talked about ELO score. This is a system that scores your profile by how attractive it thinks that you are. Pretty brutal, but in their statement at the end of it, they said that they don't actually use it anymore, but though I'm pretty sure they still use it to some degree. But before I get into shadow bans and whether new accounts get boosted or not, Vox and Wire.com brought up a pretty good pretty good point in how their algorithm likely uses something called collaborative filtering, which is what Netflix uses. Like Netflix has a profile on me for every show that I like. And if others with a similar profile to me end up liking some new show that gets added, then it's more likely to be recommended to me. Great. The difference, of course, is that it's people and that they have their own profile for what they're like. And Hinge just straight up said, this is exactly how their algorithm works with weighing both sides equally, as you can see here. But that makes me wonder if a guy were to clearly present themselves as a certain type, like a tech bro or a outdoorsy hunting type or someone that lives in breeze fitness, that they would actually get a boost because they're in a lane and that Tinder can much better identify who they are and who might like them. It's kind of like niching down essentially. I mean, Tinder is already scanning your photos, already, you know, that's like a feature. They can tell if you're at the beach, they tag it, if you're with pets, whatever. And on top of that, they straight up said that they have access to your messages and track them. So they definitely have the means to pull like all that off. In terms of shadow bans and new accounts, yes, they, they haven't officially obviously said either of them, but this does 100% exist. I mean, you can tell if you're not getting any matches at all. That's pretty cut and dry. You've been shadow banned. And for new accounts getting boosted, yeah, I mean, it makes a lot of sense because if you're a new account, they have no data on you. And to get data, they want to show you to a large range of different people so they can understand who you are and score you to at least some degree. But if you are shadow banned, Unfortunately, it sucks. There's no other way around it. You have to get a new number to make a new account. And I'd probably just stick to Hinge anyway, because at least with the guys that I work with, it's most often at least a little bit better in terms of results. And it's a good idea to just bounce around a bit, like try one app, try another, see what works, and then stick with like the top one or two that works. And you can also check out this site. It just shows you the most popular dating apps in your country. But otherwise, with everything that I said, this is like, remember, this is the details of it, like don't get lost in it. 90% of success with online dating comes down to your pictures and just volume swiping or liking enough. But otherwise, I'll talk to you again soon. Peace.